You'll get tired of pulling that drag sooner or later. Everybody, we're out here in the Gulf of Mexico, right outside of Redfish Pass. Hooked up to probably an estimated 10 pound class albacore on 10 pound tackle. Out here sight casting them. Got them blowing up here and blowing up to our left. They erupt like a volcano. We've been fighting this one now for about four minutes or so. He's made a few nice runs, but now he's just trying to dog us in the bottom doing that tuna circle. But he will eventually come up. There he goes again. Yeah. These fish out here today definitely are not shy, scared of the boat. We ran right up on them, motor going in gear and made the cast and hooked up immediately. You can hear them blowing up all around us like a volcano. We didn't bring sleeping bags with us, did, did we? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we'll be here all night. <laughs> there we go. Keep working him. Hey, he's up on the top. Got my dog on the boat. As soon as he hears that splashing, he's got to go crazy every time. He's over here looking on the wrong side of the boat. Now he's, there we go. Coming to the back. Okay. Then they're doing the old tuna circle. More fun than a little bit. They are very strong. This one's about done. We said that two minutes ago. I don't think this one's coming up to the top. There we go. You get two inches, he takes ten. <laughs> this fish is still pulling. Alright, making some headway. There we go. Well, he saw the boat. There's your fish. Nice one, too. Might be able to put a 
tad more drag on that. I'd go just about a click or two. Not much. Watch your rod there. He's on the other side. Just yeah, he's just doing the circle there. You might be able to lift him now. We're about a maybe a mile off the beach at the most. Beaver tail B2 flat skiff. This is the third day in a row we've been nailing these albacore. And they do not give up. There he is. You can just reach down and him grab him by the tail. You can grab that leader if you need to. There you go. Let's see that guy. Very nice. 